Hi, welcome back to the series on the prepared marimba. Today we're going to focus on aluminum over the resonators. And I'm not going to do a lot of different experiments, so I haven't um, experimented with tightness, so how tightly the aluminum is wrapped. They're all fairly loose. And I've also just used one sheet, so I'm not going to experiment with thickness, having more than one sheet. Um, what I do want to talk about and demonstrate is uh, the aluminum foil in different registers of the marimba, but I also want to talk about sympathetic vibrations, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But first, let's just listen to the, what I think is the pretty amazing sound of aluminum foil on the resonators. on the node, we hear a little bit of rattling, but obviously we get more rattle when we play uh, on the center or just slightly off the center. All right, so why I've got the um, aluminum foil over D2 all the way up to about half of G2. What we'll do now is we'll go up an octave and the aluminum foil starts at about halfway on D3 until halfway on D4. So I've got a longer sheet um, and let's give a listen to that. And so that last bit was on the notes. We'll play a little bit um, off center and center. Right, so you get this great rattling sound. And if I'll play the two Fs at the same time, and the rattle is, or, or the sustain is almost the same length. Uh, it's a little bit longer in obviously the lower register. Um, and actually, the sheet that I'm using here is quite a lot longer. So it'd be interesting to experiment with how long your sheet goes. Uh, but we're going to jump ahead and now we're at the upper register and this is starting at basically the very edge of F5 all the way up to the edge of F6 and we'll listen to that sound. And I'm not sure if you can hear on the video but in the first few pitches we get this nice buzzy rattle sound, but it's more part of the attack. And you don't, you're not getting really a lot of sustainability or uh, a sustained sound, I mean. Uh, and what I find with, with aluminum foil is generally till about C4 you get a nice sustain, but then upwards, you know, in, into the C5, C6 register, it's really more uh, if you want an, an attack, something to color the attack. And then I find that the top few notes that have the, the resonators covered, it's more of a pingy timbre. So it's not really much of that rattle, but just it, it does color the, the, the bar slightly, but a different quality. So if we were to compare this G to this G, so you, you get that, it's almost like a gourd quality, um, which, is, which is really neat. All right, the other thing in this video I want to just draw your attention to, I've talked about before, is sympathetic vibrations. And um, this is important, I think, if you're uh, composing for prepared marimba and you want to be really specific about the timbre mixed with the pitch that you're trying to get. What I mean is if you have some pitches that you want to be pure, that have no, um, no sound that's prepared, for example, up here, they're not really affected by anything. But if I were to play, let's say, this B, which has nothing underneath it, I'm, I'm getting the sympathetic vibrations from the resonators uh, that are covered an octave below. So I just want to show you a little bit what I mean. All right, so here we've got the D2 covered. Look at that great rattle. And now let's play the C. So 
we get, I'm not sure if you can hear this in the video, but there is a sympathetic vibration happening. So it's not really, we can't really say that's a pure tone, even though it's not prepared, if that makes any sense. But here you can see that those are pure tones um, because nothing is vibrating with them. Let's try this C. And what's kind of cool is you're getting the sympathetic vibrations from both the octave below it and above it or to the side. All right, let's come up a little bit. So I purposely didn't prepare um, E4 all the way up until E5 and then F5 and D4 are just slightly, um, they have a little bit of the, of the aluminum foil underneath them. So I'll just play these eight, no, eight pitches and, you, and let's see what's actually um, being affected. All right, so I'm hearing the lower uh, register is, is slightly um, buzzing. I don't hear anything with that F. All right, now I'm hearing this register. All right, this B4, I'm getting both um, the E3, uh, sorry, the C3 register and the register above. Same thing here. Now I'm just getting the other, the, the, the upper register affecting, being uh, affecting this note. So again, that sympathetic vibration. And here, this E is not covered at all, or the, the resonators are uncovered, but you can definitely hear all of this. Not as strong, so this is the E, this is the G that has the, the lumen foil underneath it, um, but, but it's definitely affected. So that's something to think about as you're working with aluminum. It's a great way to prepare the marimba, um, but again, if you're really particular with the sound you want and you, you want some of those pure notes, I think it's really worth taking the time once you think you know what your overall shape is going to be to determine what notes are actually going to be pure. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, it's part of a longer series on the prepared marimba, so feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out those other videos. See you.